See, the thing is, you got to come to the side, get a little look on them there, drop the claw. All right, guys, it's taken us a little bit of time here, but we finally caught a break from the booth, so we're gonna go walk around and check out some of these things at SHOT Show, so come along for the ride. For all you Stanley girls out there, it looks like Pelicans dropped their own version. <laughs> Very cool. Ooh, we got Lapua right over here to our left. Let's check that out. Burger, SK, Vitavori, some familiar brands. If you are with Bullet Central, you're aware of those. There's just so much fun to be had here at SHOT Show that sometimes the camera guy's got to take a break from filming. What do you figure, bank right? Eagles. Sheesh! Here, look at this, look at this, look at this. I gotta get that back on the peg there, but... Look at that engraving on there. Nice little katana. Sheesh! This is my first shot show, but what we have is, you know, every single buddy in the industry, it seems like, is here. So it's really cool. Uh, if you ever have the opportunity to come, I definitely recommend it, uh, just for the visual experience alone. Now, as you guys can see here, we have a very complicated diagram that I'm not fully sure I can explain to you, but we're all familiar with the vector. Oh yeah, bad ass. Let's go check out these ones over here. In case you were wondering, this is a pretty good idea of how the gun functions. And here we go, guys. The scar, iconic. Sheesh! And that's 100% real, 24 karat gold. It's not plated. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm unsure if it's plated or not, but either way, it is a beautiful looking gun. I got added a little badge onto my thing. That's unique. Now come in here. 
that looks worth that. You come in here and take a look. Looks like there's pearls on the end of that. Uh, talk about a pearl chain. Now that's really different there, folks. Come over here to Maxim Defense and check out some of the cool artwork on these custom skate decks. That right there is we got a longboard deck. Let's go see if we can't find. That might be the most unique marketing promotion item that I've seen so far. Knock that one out of the park. All right, folks, right here, what we have is your classic tactical good boy. He's looking very nice, goggled out. And then we got Junior in the back. Jake, why don't you tell me what you're looking at there? That's a PDX. Here we go, Real Tree Max 7. New camel pattern. I like that. Right here we have a wild corn dog. Notice how it's broken for more realism. We're gonna go check out Mojo here for all you guys you know. It's one of the longest standing robo decoy companies in the US. Got a couple a couple Mojo uh, coyote hunting decoys here, a couple flicker feathers. Now for those of you guys that don't know, these things are great for diver hunting. Um, we really like to throw them out in our spread, especially if we're hunting real big water, we're looking for cans, redheads. These really pop from the sky from a long ways away. Just that little bit of motion alone is gonna be great for uh, attracting birds to your spread. So I have the multi-species mojos here for the crow hunters. We've got some gadwalls, mallards, hen mallards, green wings, woodies. Here you go, look at this thing. You got your one robo duck in the middle middle, and a couple flock flickers on the outside and pintail, blue wing, green wing. The floater mojo. Now these are hard to come by. It's almost like you can't been able to find them in a while. I like these floating ones because you don't have to worry about your mojo pole bottoming out on you or the bottom of the lake. This, throw a big anchor on the bottom, it's gonna sit there and float all day and it'll take waves like crazy. Triple whammy here. I've never seen this product before, must be newer. Um, looks like you're gonna get a robo duck and then you're gonna get a little bit of water motion here. Um, just based on the stand I'm seeing though, you might not be able to run this one in super deep water, but if you're hunting anything, you know, knee deep or less, it's gonna make a lot of motion for you. Things crazy here, get a shot of this thing. You wanna talk about an e-bike, that's an e-bike right there, folks. You like if you look, we're on the bridge right now, kind of between the two venue areas, but if you look over my shoulder to the left, you'll see the sphere. Pretty cool, first time I've seen it, but definitely a sight to see. That right there's the Hog Melter 900. Guaranteed to take some wild pigs down. Looks like we got some wild dip patterns here on these ones. We got shotgun sights down here too. If you're looking for a little longer bead on your gun, something that glows, or if you're going out turkey hunting too. And then some bow sights. All right guys, had to stop over here. It looks like at the Alps Outdoors booth, they saw a bunch of Ducks Unlimited signs, so I popped in. Turns out they got these sweet little souvenir cups. You know me, sucker for a souvenir cup. Miller Lite in there, so not quite as nice uh, ice cold bush light, but you know what? Free beer's a good beer, and we'll take it. All right, guys, I think we've uh, been walking around for quite a while here. I think we should go check out the best booth in the entire building. You know, I'm a sucker for the orange and black. You know, Bullet Central out of Fargo, North Dakota. This is gonna be the best booth at the entire event. We're super excited. Let's see what they have to say. We're here with the Bullet Central team, you guys. How was day one of SHOT Show? Why don't you give us a little recap here? I'm going to hand the mic off here to Zach Moore. Uh, SHOT Show has been pretty good today. It's actually been quite busy at the booth and uh, filled with meetings. Uh, I don't got much else. A lot of cool new products out there, though. 
Charles. Well, I've been thrown in the deep end uh, as the more the financial guy, not the product guy. Um, I was left to my own devices with Zach and Jake attending a lot of meetings. He left uh, poor old me and the media guy together to answer a lot of technical questions. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, loads of fun, lots of interest. And uh, good to have Daryl here as uh, support. Always good to be at SHOT Show and see all the new stuff. Um, got to the supplier showcase this morning and got to look at all the new tools we need to buy for the shop and all the different processes we might be able to use. So that was uh, good. And uh, catch up with some of the people here down on the floor and products that uh, we use and customers we work with. So it's been good. All right, guys, that was the day one walkthrough at SHOT Show. We hit it for a couple hours walking around, showing you some stuff. We're going to come at you again tomorrow with even more. Let's go look at the merch. Classic sweatshirts, guys. <laughs> Soft side coolers. Nice little hats. I actually got to pick up one of these bad boys right here. Uh, my wife, I always get her a shot glass when I travel anywhere. So definitely going to be copying one of these today. We'll come over here and check the price bag. Looks like the shot glass is going to be $10. That's an investment, a good one at that. Pins, we have all kinds of different pins, playing cards, backpacks, soft sides, dry bags. Let's go this way. Badge holders, these are kind of a big deal here. Uh, anybody who's anybody has a little badge holder. They're not just running stock paper ones, so I already got mine though. Exclusive, no big deal. Some nice little leather coasters here. Poker chips. Can koozies. Nice little jacket there. Make sure the hair looks good for the video. They even got the women covered out here. They got some nice, you know, clothing more uh, specifically made for the women, which is nice. Some hats. This material of hat is actually dynamite. Billfolds, wallets, they got everything. I like the color on that. Charging handle could be a smidge bit bigger though. I'll tell you what, coyote hunting with that thing, you ain't gonna be able to grab with gloves on.
Tell you what, not as smooth as a bat. Still pretty nice though. See, the thing is, you gotta come to the side, get a little look on them there, drop the claw. Socks was a layup pick. Thank you. <laughs> <It's dropped. laughs> What's up guys, Zach with Bullet Central here. I'm gonna show you around a little bit of SHOT Show. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Zach with Bullet Central here. Found one of our friends, Nick, uh, with Hawkins Precision. We actually got a different company's product in the booth, but Nick is one of the best to so go over it. And uh, I think you guys are familiar with the brand, Foundation. And uh, we'll let Nick go over the new stock, the Samson. Yeah, thanks Zach. Yeah, so we have the new Foundation tunable, weight tunable competition stock. Some unique things about it. It's got four tunable brass weights in the butt stock. It's got six tunable brass weights in the forend. A brass weight up front on the arca rail. We got brass weights inside the forend as well. So you can really set this up to kind of fit your, your style of shooting. Yeah, because for, beforehand it was just the little honeycombs in the in the inlet. Yeah, or the barrel channel. Exactly. So that there used to be honeycombs in this uh, barrel channel. Now it's all solid. So you can uh, get a really heavy stock. It's at like 12 pounds right now. But if you want to bring it down, you can do so. You kind of get that good balance point that you need for shooting off obstacles in the PRS. And uh, a couple things that I noticed right now is they got some stippling right on that hand guard. Mm -hmm. um, and then also the bridge on the, over the top as well. Yeah, so uh, a little stippling on the, uh, the grip, give you a little bit better purchase. Also on the hand guard and on the forehand, so you can kind of control the rifle when it's on the bag. Yep. That's super handy. And then the uh, buttstock is completely adjustable as well. Oh, wow. So. And uh, you know, it's inleted. Most of their stocks are inleted for Hawkins bottom metal. Yep. And so we're happy to be a partner with them. And most of their stocks go out with Hawkins bottom metal in them. Um, or and then you put a Hawkins mount on the scope, and you're ready to rock and roll. Ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a great new product, 2024 from Foundation, and put some Hawkins stuff on it. You know. And as you guys know, Hawkins is still, you know, still chugging along with any of their products that are on back order or out of stock so check them out make sure you guys are up to date with their new product releases whether it's a different color they're coming out with or something new in the future thanks Hey guys, Zach with Bullet Central here. I'm with uh, Andy Slade, shooter for MDT. He's gonna go over the new chassis they just came out with and also a sneak peek and uh, of the new shot timer as well. 
Right on, so we're at the MDT booth here at SHOT Show 2024. What we've got is the ACC uh, Premier Gen 2. So we had the original ACC. We came out last year with our ACC Elite. Here what we've done is shortened up the four end and created a little bit different model so that we can hit a couple different uh, important points. One of those is a price point, which is gonna be $9.99. The way we did that was simplified a little bit of the adjustments here on the back. So we adjust length the pole with spacers and then we have the adjustable height of comb, but we just set it with the set screws. But other than that, everything is nice and rigid, the same width and thickness on the fore end as the ACC Elite. That allows you to run the night vision bridges or the ergo bridges. We can still run weights up front and internal, so you can balance it really nice as well. And then also with the shortness of it of the, the fore end, it allows those guys in the rimfire world to That's also right. be. Yeah, so it's a 15 inch fore end length, which is gonna allow you to run 16, 18 inch barrels without any issue. Yep, so the other thing that we've got is the shot, the uh, crush and stage timer. What that's gonna do is help you to keep up with time management. Time management is one of the hardest parts of PRS or any competition, and it's infinitely programmable with different sounds, and different beeps, and different screen displays to allow you to adjust it to your preference so that you know when you're running out of time or when you have plenty of time left. So you can speed up or slow down and kind of tune the way you're shooting to that um, time management that you've got left. And I know like Andy with you know your experience in shooting, I think a lot of people, especially new shooters as well, struggle with time management. And with that time management being said, I think a lot of people think they have less time than they actually have. Right. So you know, I believe you guys have been testing this and you personally have been testing this for a long time. Has this made you realize you've had more time on the clock and also able to position yourself adequately uh, and more stable every time with that yeah. shot timer? So that's a great question. One of the most important things we can do is carry data from one stage to the next. So the biggest thing for me has been that when I realize I have more time left than I thought, I'll slow down make really well executed shots and see exactly where that bullet goes. When I do that, maybe I had four tenths in the gun, I see that I needed six, and then I'll come back and I'll adjust the Kestrel so that I'll know exactly what wind speed or condition that it would have taken to use that data. So for your high level shooters, it's gonna allow you to do that. For your mid range shooters, it's just gonna say, hey, slow down a little bit and make good shots. Okay, perfect. Yeah, everything you see here with the weight kits, the Baker wings, the new shot timer we'll be having in that Bullet Central. We appreciate your time, Andy. With Thank everything. you so much for coming by the booth yeah, today. Yeah, and explaining everything. Um, check it out, guys, especially if you're at SHOT Show. Check it out right now and then uh, on our website later on. Yeah, so one of the other important points here is that the uh, dampeners will work from the Elite. So a lot of we get a lot of questions about that. Guys really like the dampeners. They do cross over from the Elite to the new Same one. Same with the Baker wings and the kids that's right yeah okay. perfect awesome awesome thank you much thanks again